My name's uh, Ian Jackson. Uh, I was at Firhill from 1972 to 1977. Um, my first impressions when I arrived at Firhill with uh, my uniform on and my nicely sharpened pencils in my top pocket, some kind guy came up to me and said, um, you're Donald Jackson's brother, aren't you? I went, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Donald Jackson's brother. I just started first day at school. He proceeded to take my pencils out my pocket and he bashed them all down and broke all the lead on my pencil and said, welcome to Fur Hill. So that was my first impression of Fur Hill, but uh, it didn't get any worse than that, unfortunately. It was uh, a fantastic uh, five years I had at Fur Hill. Um, my first registration teacher, I remember, was a man called Mr. Cadou, spelt C-A-D-O-U-X. Um, he did have a nickname, I think it was Gilbert or someone had a single out that year called Ooh Akadu Akadee, and that was his nickname then. But uh, if Mr. Kadu, if you're watching this, uh, we didn't once say that at all behind your back. Um, some of my favourite teachers going back the days uh, were in the sports department. Uh, there was uh, Davy Duff, uh, he was a very firm but fair teacher. Um, you didn't want to get on the wrong side of Mr. Duff at any time. And I think if any of the ex-pupils, especially the boys um, that were there when he was there, uh, will remember him fondly. And um, also Mr McFarlane, um, PE teacher, he was quite a character. Uh, I can remember him once dressing up uh, as the big bad wolf in um, one of the school plays, uh, which was hilarious at the time. Um, it was back in the days when we used to have uh, assembly uh, in the main hall, where I think most people have their lunch now. Uh, you used to have the guys, boys on one side and the girls on the other side uh, and that was morning assembly every morning. I don't know if they do that these days but uh, back in these days that was a, an event to look forward to. Uh, depending who was sitting behind you or who was sitting in front of you. Um, many times at school uh, the sports department uh, always came first. I always looked forward to PE, to uh, going running through the burn, um, playing rugby, playing football. Uh, they were the sort of best times at school for me. And in the uh, second year, I uh, remember my registration teacher, I can remember the number of the class as well, it was 2E17. Uh, my registration teacher was uh, Margot Wells, who was married to um, Alan Wells. But uh, I don't think they were married at that stage, they were just uh, going out together. Um, but Margot Wells uh, was my registration teacher in second year. Uh, she was a very good teacher as well. Um, we all remember how well our husband did at the Olympics and it was great to be able to tell people that uh, Alan Wells' wife was your registration teacher. Uh, it was something to say all these years ago. Um, science was a great subject as well. Um, I know that they've come on leaps and bounds in the science department now, having looked around it when my, my kids were first shown around. I know the school has had such a, a makeover since I was at school. Uh, I think the newest part of the school um, or the newest part that was being built when I was there was the, the games hall, which has now been demolished uh, for uh, the Braidburn School um, back in the day. Um, and even looking at school now, where the, um, the old gym was, we only had one really small gym before the big games hall was built. Uh, that building's still there, you can still see the wooden structure, and it's quite nice if you're walking through the grounds of Fur Hill to walk towards the city hospital, or the old city hospital, look to the left and you can see the old gym block there which is still standing. I think it's got the original wood on it as well. But um, we used to have the uh, biology pond as well, that was always a focus of attention. Biology pond which never seemed to have any fish in it but there was always plenty of crisp packets and uh, empty bottles of juice and sweetie papers and there was always one or two uh, clever clogs that tried to um, trip you up with the loose boards across the biology pond. Uh, one you would stand on and the board would come up, people would trip on it. Um, hilarious probably at that time, but um, the biology pond was there um, just below the maths block. Um, I remember a maths teacher, uh, Mr Aldous, uh, who was my maths teacher, I think it was in third or fourth year, he was a fantastic guy. Um, I think he actually told us he played football for Liverpool. Uh, whether he did or not, we'll never know, but uh, I think he did, he was a good uh, footballer, he used to take the teams um, back in the day. Um, didn't do much for my maths, mind you, um, but it was an interesting subject at the time. But we were more interested in Mr Aldis's uh, football stories about Liverpool. Um, another one of the maths teachers that I think everybody will remember uh, was Mrs Harkness. 
she was very, very strict, uh, again, but fair. But um, she was a great maths teacher, but uh, as I say, she had a reputation of uh, being a bit tough on people in the classroom. Uh, and I can, going back to the days in Firhill, there was always um, some people who would try to take the mickey, etc., and she soon put them to, to write. Um, Art, again, like the subject art at school, um, I enjoyed the art and history, uh, history especially as well. Um, knowing that um, you had the best intentions of all the teachers that were there, uh, they tried to do the best for you. Um, that was one of my um, more successful subjects at school, shall we say. But um, having grown up uh, around about Firhill and lived in the same area for many years, I uh, was born and brought up in Oxgangs uh, all my life. Um, my mother still lives there in Oxgangs Road North. Uh, we used to walk to school, me and my good friend Kenny, Kenny Stewart, um, who sadly passed away uh, when he was about 27. Uh, but I remember Kenny coming down for me from his house at the top of Oxgangs, and we always walked to school together straight to Firhill, and always walked back together straight from Firhill. Um, some of the funny stories about coming back from Firhill, um, I used to play in the school band in first and second year, um, something back then that was um, you were given a bit of a, a ribbon for. Uh, I remember once coming back with my trombone in my case and uh, some of the uh, the um, undesirables, so shall we say, uh, always insisted on in having a shot of this trombone on the way home from school. Um, they probably could play it a lot better than I could play it at, uh, some of the times, but um, you know the school band was uh, a part of school life then. A lot of people took part in it. Uh, and after seeing how well they are now, um, some of the school concerts I've actually been to, uh, the music department do a fantastic job, and what a difference from all the days when I was there back in 72, 73, 74. They've come on leaps and bounds now with all their electronic equipment, uh, brass section, guitar section, and they are, really are uh, outstanding. Um, so if any people that are watching this get a chance to go and see any of the concerts, it's well worth uh, going to see some of the concerts at Christmas time especially. My last impression, Firhill was a fantastic school, um, so much so that I was delighted that when I um, had my own family that uh, my children all went there as well. My son Jamie who's 21 now, uh, my daughter Channing who's 18 and uh, they've both left now and I have a girl in second year, Kiana. Uh, they, all, uh, are in, they all enjoyed for her, Jamie and Channing immensely, and Kiana's having a great time there now with all her friends that she's met. Um, they all had a fantastic education. 